Hi everyone, welcome to my chaotic corner of the internet. I'm wearing my Moonspell shirt, because I saw Moonspell a couple days ago. It was amazing, but that's actually not what I'm here to talk about today. Sorry, I'm like sick and kind of sweaty right now, so I apologize if that comes across. But I was really curious, because some people were following me due to my ear stretching journey, which I've kind of abandoned, but I've been keeping stacks in my lobes. I have three 16 gauge rings in each hole. And recently, I've just kind of gotten curious again. I've wondered if I can fit um, plugs in here. I didn't film this, but a couple of days ago, I tried sticking tapers through them just to see what size they're at, and I'm pretty sure that they're still at 6 gauge. So I bought some 6 gauge plugs from Amazon, they're not probably in very good quality, but uh, they look good at least. I have a pair of uh, rose quartz. I'm not sure if they're like real crystals either, but I have rose quartz and I think this is oak white. These are black ones, no idea what stone they're supposed to be. We have, it looks like tiger's eye. Yeah, tiger's eye. We have green ones, no idea what that would be. And these ones look kind of like amethyst. So uh, what color should I do actually? I haven't thought about this. Uh, I'm gonna do amethyst. It's been so long <laughs> since I've looked at a single plugger tunnel. God, I need to start wearing my glasses when doing these things. I like, I know that I just had my ring opener in here and I have no idea where I put it. Oh, it's on the floor. It is not where I put it. That's why I couldn't find it. I'm gonna try to pop these all open at the same time, but I doubt it's gonna work that way. I like the stacked look and I've been rocking it for a year, but it is kind of annoying to put them in and take them out. I did it a couple of days ago and I was like, I'm never gonna do this again, and yet here I am. Okay, there's so two of them. Two of them are coming out, I think. There's one. Oh, look at that! They're connected! They're like star-crossed lovers. Why is there cat hair on here? Oh yeah, because they're on the floor. Uh... So yeah, I decided I was gonna see if I can still get plugs in these things. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the right size. Can you believe I've had the same tiny bottle of jojoba oil ever since I've been stretching my ears with a throw bag? I'm just gonna spray these off with... I don't have much sea salt spray left, I should probably get some more of that. So this is what we're working with. Again, I'm not sure if it's gonna focus, but... It's like that. It's a the teeny tiny little guy. God, this is so nostalgic. <laughs> oh yeah, this is what the hole looks like. These are clear o-rings, and that's making me nervous. At least I have several pairs to- Ooh! Look at it! It went right in! <laughs> yes, we're back, baby! And you may be wondering if this video is a sign that I'm gonna go back to stretching my ears anytime soon. But the answer is, I have no idea. Knew it. God, where'd it go? <laughs> I'm already gonna have to use another o-ring. <laughs> because I really did Mother, f what did I tell you? <laughs> I have no idea where these things went. This is a problem. I might try again. I might try to at least get back up to four gauge or two gauge. I was a two gauge when I quit. Please go on. There we go. Woo! Got the o-ring on. We're good to go. Let's do the other ear. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm just trying to put these things in between all three rings. Trying to expand them that out that way, but I don't think it's gonna work that pinched. And I'm gonna put all these away in like a special place just in case I wanna go back to the stacked look. Because I really have enjoyed having stacked loaves because they're like titanium poops. I barely even cleaned them. And recently I decided that I was gonna pop them out and see what was going on. And they were fine. They were completely content having all these rings in there the whole time. So these are good rings. That's this hole. I could wear two different colors. No, I don't think I will. Where did my other purple one go? There you are. Put the other purple one in there. There we go. Like a dream! It's perfect! I'm just gonna do surgery. I'm just gonna take another o-ring off of this one because I can't find any of the other ones. Woo! We're in! So that's the look. Um. I think I like it. It's like midnight and 
I can't see myself very well on this phone. Um, all I know is that I have all my rings in one bag, don't let me forget. <laughs> so yeah, just so we're clear, no stretching was involved tonight. This was just the size that they were naturally sitting at with all those rings in them. So if you have three 16 gauge rings, in each ear. Uh, I'm not a mathematician, but apparently that adds up to about six, uh, have I been saying six gauge? Eight gauge. Eight gauge is what they are. But once again, these are all of the pairs that I have to choose from, and this will be a fun little experiment. I do know that I tried to stick a six gauge um, taper in, and that didn't work, so if I do want to size up, I'm probably gonna have to do the in-between sizes dead stretching again. But for now, I'm actually okay with this. It looks bigger than it is. <laughs> like the tunnels for this size look pathetic, but the plugs are kind of doing something. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you lovely humans next time.